We are back. Season two of the DJ Chronicles, man. And I know what you was thinking. You was like, dang, Jim is going to do us like that? He going to do us like that for real? He just going to do one season and don't do nothing else? No, I'm not going to do that, okay? I had to take a break. Um, 2020 came, and I was like, I'm not going to rush into nothing. Just let me chill off a little bit and just uh, see what I'm going to do for this year. So that's what I did. I stepped back and uh, just looked at everything that I have to do for the year. Focused on the gigs that I had, which I had a lot. Praise God. Um, this has been the first year that I had a fully booked January. I've never had a fully booked January, never, in my whole career. Um, that speaks volumes because, um, like, my gigs don't pick up to almost April or something like that. So to be this busy in January, that says a lot. So glory be to God for that. So what I did was focus on what I had going on. And now I'm back. This is February 1st, and like I said, we are hitting the ground running, and I'm back at it with the videos. So, today um, is a good one, I feel, to start it off with. We have a birthday party today for a 14-year-old. Yes, a teenager. And you know how teenagers are. <laughs> they want their music, and they want their music now. They don't care. How you get it or when you get it, it better be next when they ask for it, okay? And they ask for some wild stuff. And they ask for all kinds of songs. The songs that came out last week, yesterday, two hours ago. They don't care. They want to hear it and they want to hear it now. So you got to be on point with these teenagers, man. And any DJ will tell you, man, that's like one of the hardest gigs, man, besides weddings, man. It's like teenage parties at number one. And then weddings right under it, man. Whoo, what? So I got my my work planned out for me today. So we gotta we gotta move today. Um, they gave me a lot of songs, and a lot of these songs I don't even know. Um, I thought I had a good amount, but these kids, man, they just gave me a whole nother list, and I'm like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I thought I was doing something. I had everybody had baby, little baby, this baby and that baby, Gunner and whoever else you want to name. I had all that and they still hit me with some more songs. I was like, good God. So, yeah, so I've been up for a while for like up late getting songs for like the past two weeks, man. Just getting songs, man. So I hope I have everything together. And uh, I heard that on uh, the the birthday boy is happy, he's excited, and uh, his father is also excited about this party. Um, he's so excited he sent me his playlist too. And his playlist was uh, Christian hip hop, gospel, um, R&B, old school, and I'm looking and I'm like, I don't know how, I'm going to mix ratchet and twerking with gospel and praising and loving Jesus, I don't know how I'm going to mix this together. Um, I don't, like, are they going to twerk and praise and twerk for Jesus? I don't, I don't know. I don't know, okay? I'm just as shocked as you are about this whole situation. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. So, uh, I hope you guys are praying for me for real right now, because um, I'm going to need it. But uh, yeah, we got that going on, and um, we do have an issue where um, the event starts at 6.30, and I cannot get in the building until 6 o'clock. Are you doing the math? That only gives me 30 minutes to set up all my equipment. I've never done that. Never done that. I think... Uh, I made it to 45 minutes one time, 45, and I was pushing it, and um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but um, we're going to do our best to make it happen, so if you don't get all the footage that I usually give you guys, that is why, because I'm really going to be moving a lot, trying to get all this up in a short amount of time, um, but um, Talking to them, they sound like they'll be a little lenient. 
So we may play with that a little bit and um, we're going to do our best to make sure that everything is working in order and we're making it happen regardless. So with all that being said, I hope you guys are ready to work because we need to move and we need to do it now. So you know what we got to do, man. Let's go load up this van, all right? Hope you all ready to go because we're ready. Let's go. got here at 5 30 like I said I went in to talk to uh, somebody in charge and my boy stopped me he said what you up here for I said you know I'm the DJ for the birthday party that's gonna be in that room right there and he said well you're a little bit early ain't you I was like man I hope he was gonna let me in you know but he said he can't let me in uh, due to the policy that they have in place so yeah I have to wait until 6 o'clock to set up. Um, he said he making get me enough 550, but that's real iffy. I was like, dang. <laughs> I was like, I got a lot to set up, man. He said, hey, you know, I understand, but we got policies. So I was like, okay, I respect your policy, brother. So, um, yeah, I got to wait um, until 6 o'clock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get the first load on my cart and bring it inside and just stand by the door. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put everything and stand by the door. And um, when six o'clock hit, I knock that door right open. And I'm gonna go straight to that uh, stage. They got me on the stage, so I'm gonna go straight to that stage and put everything on the stage and get the second load and uh, get to work, man. I don't know how I'm gonna do all this in 30 minutes, but we are gonna try to make this thing happen. Um, so yeah. So what I'm going to do is uh, get everything loaded and uh, just wait. Stand by the door and wait. That's all I can do. So let's see what we're going to make this thing do, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.
Snapchat and Facebook and all that, taking pictures and stuff, man. And you just sitting there playing music. You think they'll like it, and they don't budge at all. So you really don't know if you're doing a good job or not. So it's very hard um, for me or any other DJ. They'll tell you it's very hard to play for teenagers um, for that reason. But um, shout out to the birthday boy Slew, man. He came through. He had a, a nice little playlist uh, of songs that he wanted to hear throughout the night. And every time he showed me one, I played it. And I played like three or four songs right after that that pretty much was similar to it. And it, the party took off, man. <laughs> it took off. So uh, shout out to him, man. I hope you had a good time. Um, even the uh, grown-ups had a good time. I was uh, throwing some old-school club bangers. <laughs> Some old tracks that I ain't heard in a long time, man. Back when I was in like Tallahassee, man, we went to the moon and all that. That brought all that back. From them uh and all the Miami songs, man, them down south songs, um, Wu Tang and uh Wigan and all them songs like that and Naked Hustle and all that stuff. Man, I ain't heard I, <laughs> I ain't heard them songs in a long time, but they just sparked something in my memory, man. I just choo, took off. So I was playing all that stuff, man. The grown ups was riding, man. So I was like, yeah. So we was able to ride out for everybody. We, uh, we had a good time. I had a good time. And um, the birthday boy had a good time. So that was the main thing, man. And the kids, they, they was turned up. They was real turned up. Um, so it turned out to be a very good night. Like I said, it was rough, but we made it through. Thank God for that. Because it's hard being a DJ sometimes. It is very hard. 
but we pulled it off. So, hey, we're going to move on to the next one, guys. So, I uh, hope you like this episode because this was the first episode of the DJ Chronicles Season 2. So, uh, until next time, I'm going to see y'all later. Peace.